there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Young with Ale Reliance, uh, coming at you today with the first uh, video of the new year. Um, at, actually the first video that I'm shooting, processing, and putting online. I've already uploaded a video on uh, my TSA approved uh, survival kit that I put up on the 1st of January, but that Seattle trip was actually in the middle of December. I just finally got around to posting it. but. Uh, Happy New Year's. Hope it was all safe, fun, and, and uh, enjoyable for everybody. And hope everybody got what it was they were looking for out of the holidays. But anyways, I'm coming at you today with a uh, military surplus gear uh, unboxing here from uh, Veristuka, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's a military surplus shop in Helsinki, uh, Finland where I've already made one purchase earlier last year of this uh, Alpine, German Alpine military rucksack, which is actually uh, genuine German surplus gear because of the tag on the inside. It tells me that. Um, what I got today from uh, Finland is I got a couple of the NVA shelter halves. Um, these are canvas rain ponchos plus tent halves, um, and they are six foot by six foot buttons and slots down each side of them so you can put them together to make a six foot by twelve foot piece of tarp. And if you have more of them, you can put six of these together, eight of these together. You can build them as big as you want or as big of a shelter as you want as long as you have you know, multiples of these. Now at first glance, when I looked at this earlier today, when I first received it, I thought it was going to be military surplus, and I believe it's just military reproduction, and I don't have a problem with that. I've got uh, U.S. military wool blankets that are uh, reproductions that work just fine, so I'm not going to, and for the price that I paid for these two, I'm not going to fret over it. And the reason I don't believe they're military surplus is the stitching seems to be kind of thin. Um, the buttons are pressed aluminum buttons that I think I'll pretty much rip out in the season. But there's fixes for that, ways around it. The material's nice heavy canvas. Uh, these are rain ponchos as well as your shelter halves. So there you go. And there we go. About a six foot by six foot piece of material there. And like I said, I believe these are just reproductions, but um, I can go over the cons real quick. Or what I believe to be cons is like threads, the aluminum buttons, those are going to break off. I'm pretty sure within a couple of uses, but bring some buttons with you. Put a button on this side, a button on that side, put it in with some paracord. Um, you got yourself a permanent fix. The material is definitely going to last you a long time, longer than any of the silk nylon or, or ripstop nylon, any of that stuff. Um, I have put this on and fashioned it as a poncho. The easiest way to do it is to go ahead and kind of get an idea, like this is the shoulder here. So this will be the back, this will be the hood. And you just kind of take the buttons on this side and you button them up here while it's off. Then slide it over your head and then hit the drawstrings and then and, and fit it as a poncho. I found that to be the e easiest way to turn it into the poncho. But my primary reason for buying two of them was one's going to go in my kit, the other's going to go in my son's kit. And ideally we're going to be together in whatever situation happens, whether we're hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, or bugging out. So if we're together, we can link our two halves up and fashion a pretty decent shelter for me, him, and his, and his mother. So, um, so the thread and the buttons all seem to be kind of cheap quality construction, but on the upside, they were only $11 a piece. And for $11, I mean, to me, just the six, six foot by six foot piece of uh, treated canvas that you get heavy duty that's gonna last you a long time. Is, is worth worth the money. Like I said, the buttons are an easy fix. Just carry some extra buttons with you. So as they 
fall apart on you, you can replace them right there in the field. Not a problem. Um, uh, I think it cost me a total of forty-one dollars for two of them plus seventeen dollars in shipping. You know, uh, three to five day shipping from Helsinki to here. So I spent forty dollars on two pieces of uh, what I would say are pretty good kit. I mean, I uh, I'm starting to become a bigger and bigger fan of the old school canvas and wools because they're more durable, more robust, they don't get affected by heat, by the fire, like your ripstop nylons and your manufactured or en engineered uh, fibers do. Um, so, I don't know, I, I, I'm, going, I'm reverting back, I mean, you can use this stuff, you could use this stuff, uh, you know, if you set up this uh, pack and, and you get the uh, folding mat that goes with the pack. You you could set this up to be a pretty good long range observation post. This could help you uh, you know help you conceal your position, you know, your observation position. So there's a lot of uses for this. It folds up I mean they're three they're three pounds a piece. I'm sorry about this guys. We got somebody having a shipping container delivered it looks like so let that go by real quick but, uh, anyways you know survival uses um, defense uses military applications like I said this is East German replica uh, surplus this was the first purchase I made like I said is this uh, German Alpine rucksack. It is uh, 2,000 cubic inches um, of space in there. You just got one main bucket and you got this pouch back here and irregardless or uh, despite what people say on YouTube this is not for water bladders. This is for a folded sleeping mat uh, that was designed to go in here that adds structure to the back of your pack Plus it gives you something to sleep on and if you are building a fire position for hunting or uh, an observation post then you have the mat to put between you and the earth so you can be as comfortable as you can behind your binoculars or your scope. But that folding mat and I, I've got an email out, an email alert out or requested that as soon as they get some in I'm going to buy a couple so I have one to put in this pack. One of these will go in this pack and then the rest of my kit. You got the two side pockets here with pass through so you can put an axe or an e-tool. These will hold about a 32 ounce canteen or whatever you want. Um, this pack is waterproof. There's rubber, rubber up here rubber on the bottom and then rubber on the side of the pack here and on the lids there so you don't have to worry about this pack soaking up a whole bunch of moisture getting your stuff inside wet this is a rugged heavy duty well stitched pack and it was $25 from the same place Barstalika um, if you order and do, uh, do regular shipping, it will take you about two to three weeks to receive your items here. Uh, you can pay 17 extra dollars on your order and it'll get DHL to deliver within uh, three to five days. So I just wanted to do this uh, unboxing and, and, and show you these uh, NBA shelter halves. Um, like I said, 11 bucks a piece from Barsalika. I don't, I don't think you could go wrong. I mean, if you are on a budget and you're looking for shelter items for your kid on a budget, right, um, you can't beat this. This is going to be the best, highest quality, most durable thing you can have in your pack. Yeah, it's going to take up a little bit of room, and yeah, it's going to add a little bit of weight, but what you lose in room and weight, you gain in longevity. And if you end up in a long-term situation, That's it for this unboxing uh, video, guys. I will bring you a, another video as soon as I get a mat and get this kind of set up for my long range shooting and uh, go through the kit then. But, uh, 
hope you all had a safe and happy holidays, and I, uh, I hope you guys all have a safe and, and productive uh, 2018.